This ice is from the Viking Age, around the year 1000, also called the medieval warm period. We believe that in Greenland, the medieval warm period was about one and a half degrees warmer on average than, than today. Nordgrip, the Greenland ice core project, is being reopened to drill the last few meters through the ice sheet to the rock beneath the research station. The ice core, over three kilometers in length, has been hauled up to the surface piece by piece and contains important data on the history of the climate of the Earth. It bears the fingerprints of climatic conditions over more than 120,000 years. When we remove a drill the ice core, we leave a hole. And we insert a thermometer in the hole, we are able to map out the temperature through the three kilometer ice sheet. Now that temperature, if we do it precisely enough, a thousandth of a degree accuracy, then the ice has not forgotten how cold or warm it was on the surface at the time the snow fell. So, using those temperatures, we have been able to reconstruct the temperatures of the last 10,000 years. Here we have our picture of the temperature reconstructions that we have from Greenland in the graphical form. And if we go back along this axis, it's going back in time, this is the last 8,000 years we have plotted here. On this axis, we have the temperatures, at the site in, in Greenland and we can see that if we go back from now about 4,000 years ago we would have temperatures up here for about 4,000 years that were two and a half degrees warmer on average than today. Now as we go approach our time we can see that in the period between 4,000 years ago and back to the period 2,000 years ago which is actually the Roman age the temperatures have been decreasing in Greenland by two and a half degrees. Then the temperatures increased gradually up to a maximum point around the medieval warm period, we call it a thousand years ago, and then temperatures declined and goes down to a minimum around 1650 AD, comes back up a little in the, in the 18th century, and then around 1875 we have the lowest point in the last 8,000 years, right here and that matches exactly the time when meteorological observations started. Other core samples from elsewhere in Greenland confirm that the Little Ice Age ended about 140 years ago at the coldest point in the last 10,000 years. The natural pronounced alteration of warm and cold periods back in time has also been confirmed elsewhere in the Northern Hemisphere. Carbon-14 dating of organic matter from peat bogs and tree rings confirms the pattern. So do data from stalactite caves in China and measurements from North Africa. The problem is that we, and I agree completely, that we have had a global temperature increase in the 20th century. Yes. But an increase from what? Probably an increase from the lowest point we've had for the last 10,000 years. And this means that it will be very hard indeed to prove whether the increase of temperature in the 20th century was man-made or it's a natural variation. That will be very hard because we made ourselves an extremely poor experiment. We started to observe meteorology at the coldest spot in the last 10,000 years.